So, folks, obviously good news. So while there's there's troubling things that we see in the the media and, and here's here's something you've got to understand. And I say this over and over and over and again, and I'm going to continue to say it over and over and over again. This election cycle was a perfect example of what the legacy media is attempting to do. They want to shape the world in their ideological image. They're not about reporting what's happening. They're not so much about even projecting. They want to shape and determine. One of the reasons the media from day one was so adversarial towards Donald Trump is because they couldn't control him. The media has become accustomed to to having politicians on a string. And I'm telling you, I know this from personal experience of talking to and going up against the media myself as a elected official, but also talking to previous presidential administrations who were so concerned about what the media thought they wouldn't take steps that were conservative, practical, and right. The Trump administration did. And, and they made that clear from the very beginning. And so there was this adversarial role because the media wanted to control what the federal government did, what the Trump administration did, and he would not allow it. And they were kept at, on the outside. And so that, that's a part of it. What they want to do is put a magnifying glass on a minority view and suggest to you that that is the majority view. Now, I, I will give you the reality that America is a divided nation. There's no question. But the values that's, that are built upon transcendent truth, biblical truth, those values are not going away. In fact, what's happening is that as people see that truth, when displayed, when put on display, when used, when upheld, when defended, leads to positive outcomes, more people are being won to the truth. And again, this goes back to the media trying to discourage people from supporting the policies of the of President Trump and the Trump administration because they know those policies work. It's part of the cancel culture is to drive you into hiding so that you will not represent the truth. Here's what you need to do. Turn off the legacy media. And I'll tell you, that includes Fox News. Fox News has gone to the left. You need, number one, spend more time in the scripture and, and, and just analyze, look at things that are happening in the light of, the, of Scripture and be encouraged. Look, I'm not going to use the, the flippant phrase that God is in control. I mean, that, that's never been challenged. But as you and I exercise our responsibility right where God has placed us, we can impact the world around us. And our values, which are built upon Scripture, which come from Scripture, offer the hope that America needs. And now more than ever, we need to redouble our efforts in standing for truth, regardless of who's in the White House, regardless of what party might dominate. That doesn't matter. Now, well, I shouldn't say that. It does matter. It makes our job easier or harder, but it should not in any form or fashion affect our commitment to the truth. We must stand firm now more than ever. And shine a light on darkness and be salt to a world that needs the preservation that only the truth can bring.